So I want to talk a little bit about how MLSs work. And this is a video for uh, buyers, people looking to buy a home, and uh, maybe just people who are interested in this, and also agents, new agents who uh, want to learn a little bit about this. So here in the San Francisco Bay Area, it's made up of six counties, I believe six counties. So that would be uh, San Mateo County, Santa Clara County, uh, San Francisco, Alameda, Contra Costa, and Marin. I don't know if we would add Solano County to the uh, Bay Area counties, but either way, um, I should probably know that. But uh, uh, in those six counties, we have a total of, I believe, four MLSs. So uh, we have MLS listings, which, and so what MLS is, is the kind of internal database uh, for real estate agents to post listings for sale. And so historically, before the internet, this was just like a book called the Multiple Listing Service. And now obviously with the internet, there there's a uh, MLS, it's an online um, database for homes that are for sale coming soon. Uh, you can change the status to pending, sold, things like that. So when you're seeing a home for sale on Redfin or Zillow or Trulia or uh, Realtor.com or whatever, that's basically just through a feed um, I, I don't know if it's a, uh, uh, RSS or whatever, how that works, uh, a feed, but it's fed to those portals through the MLS and all the information about a property, the pictures, the videos, the, uh, description, the other details and things like that is all fed from the MLS to all these other services. So, uh, through all these other portals. Now there's no one large MLS. Um, or if there is, I don't really know about it. There might be a, a, you know, some things that they share, but uh, basically they're all these local MLSs. So that's why there's not really, in my opinion, any good user interface app because these are all kind of small organizations for realtors. And um, there's some value in that. And then there's also negatives. Like for example, you know, if you use the Zillow app or the Redfin app, it's a better, generally a better user interface than the MLS uh, automatic search app that your realtor may put you on. Um, but okay, anyways, enough about that. So um, what I wanna talk about is here in the San Francisco Bay Area, we have a number of different MLSs. So we have MLS listings, which uh, covers the counties of San Mateo, Santa Clara, uh, uh, Santa Cruz, Monterey, and San Benito. And so two of those are Bay Area counties, the other three are not. Then we have San Francisco, the city and county of San Francisco has its own MLS. And then we have the B-A-R-E-I-S, we just call it Berries, and that, I forgot what it stands for off the top of my head, but that basically covers Marin County, Napa, Sonoma, and uh, the North Bay area and just a, a little bit uh, north of San Francisco. Then we have the East Bay, which is uh, gonna be Alameda, Contra Costa. Uh, I'm not sure what other counties, um, whether where Fresno is and where Stockton is, is the same MLS, I believe it is. But um, I believe that MLS, it's a couple of different ones. I forgot what the names of each are, but I just use the ones for Alameda and Contra Costa because that's where you know sometimes I do business as well. So we have four different MLSs. So that means that when your realtor is setting you up or searching properties for you or setting you up on automatic email uh, drip campaigns or something, they have to go. And if you're a buyer who's saying, you know, I'll open for the whole Bay Area. I'm ready to buy anywhere. My budget is either, you know, 1.5 million for a giant house in uh, Danville or a, or a nice big house in Danville, or it's 1.5 million for a, a teardown in Belmont, California. Uh, or a uh, nice uh, two-bedroom condo in Soma, San Francisco, or a pretty nice big house in San Rafael, California. If uh, you're not super sensitive to uh, long traffic times, and right now we're in the middle of uh, still sheltering in place, um, or towards the end of sheltering in place, uh, you don't necessarily have to worry about traffic too much, so people seem to be a little bit flex more flexible now. So. I would, uh, so just keep that in mind as a buyer and as a new agent is that when you're setting your clients up on um, 
uh, searches that you have to go through these four different MLSs. Now, it's not just setting people up on searches. It's if you ask your agent, hey, can you get me a disclosure package for this property? Can you find out what the offer information is on this property? Can you set up a physical showing for this property? Your agent has to log into those individual MLSs. And being part of one of those MLSs gives the agent reciprocal access to the other MLSs. So for example, I'm actually a part of San Francisco MLS, SFAR, San Francisco Association of Realtors, and their MLS, and I'm also a member of MLS listings, which gives me access to all of the other MLS listings, five counties that I mentioned earlier, San Mateo, Santa Clara, uh, Santa Cruz, etc. And so I'm a part of both of those MLSs, but I also just utilize reciprocal access for Alameda and Contra Costa when I need to show properties in those areas and uh, Marin County, which is usually the furthest north that I personally would go. And so uh, I have to log into those separate MLSs in order to uh, look out agent remarks and uh, what are the showing instructions and what are the disclosure information and et cetera. And so it's a little bit inefficient because it's a lot of logging into separate systems. So a lot of clients, buyers don't see uh, what goes on on the back end, how much work an agent actually has to do in order just to pull some basic information often. So there's definitely some room for disruption here, uh, either uh, figuring out some, you know, uh, if you're in tech and you, uh, I have some good ideas of how we can possibly do that. And if you're thinking of a startup, I don't know how profitable it'll be because it's such a small niche kind of thing, but figuring out a way to allow agents to have cross MLS access um, because the MLSs kind of keep themselves so tight. M many of them shy away from creating one system that allows everybody to access any property in any county. They all kind of uh, keep this tight knit kind of uh, a barrier to information. Um, which is kind of old school and it's the opposite of where society is heading and where technology is heading of uh, allowing information to be easily accessible to the masses. So there's definitely room for disruption, uh, disruption. There's a lot of inefficiency in that. And that's a lot of the work that your real estate agent does. If you are looking in different counties and those are different MLSs uh, that they have to pull that information. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps my channel. It really helps the algorithm and YouTube and whatever, all that back end stuff. Just makes this video more accessible to people. Thank you.